We'd been hollering for action. Now we were going to get it. But we didn't know where. Norway, France, Italy, China. Finally, on the fifth day, we got the news. I mean, what we'd been waiting to hear. They handed out little guidebooks. And I remember the first line. You are to do duty in North Africa as a soldier of the United States. Give me kind of a kick. Why North Africa? What was the plan called Acrobat? The convoy from America was heading east, the one from Britain heading south. At a given point west of Gibraltar, the British convoy would divide. For 12 hours, the two halves would proceed in opposite directions. Then the second half would reverse its course and follow the first, passing Gibraltar 24 hours behind. Thus, with clock-like precision, the combined operations would begin with simultaneous landings at Casablanca, Oran, Algiers. Casablanca to protect our flank against an Axis attack through Spanish Morocco. Oran and Algiers to secure bases from which to press eastward. Then the occupation of Tunisia, from which we could cut Rommel's supply lines across the Mediterranean. Next, to trap and destroy Rommel's Africa Corps between our allied forces and the British Eighth Army. Thus, one arm of the Axis pincer would be amputated and supply lines around the Cape of Good Hope would be shortened by half through winning control of the Mediterranean. North Africa would be ours with bases from which to stab at the heart of the Axis citadel. <laughs> 